Thank you, Acting President. I rise to speak in support of this document's motion, and in doing so, I can't help but reminisce on my question on notice on this very matter, to which I received a response in December last year. I asked the Health Minister, will the government release the illicit tobacco re review report commissioned by the government in 2021 and undertaken by Re Better Regulation Victoria? A simple no or yes or no question. But if you read through the government's response, you'll see the word, you won't see the words yes or no, you'll simply see a short statement that the report is being considered by government. As this document motion notes, it was in March 2023 that the government received this report. Almost a year later, and it is still under consideration, no effort has been made to make that report public. In the meantime, the illicit market thrives, and I agree with Ms. Crozier in um, discussion around what's happening with these uh, illicit market and the firebombings. Tobacconists continue to be firebombed and criminal syndicates engage in increasingly violent acts to, com to compete for profit. Clearly, there is a crisis on the streets of Sydney and Melbourne and ordinary citizens are being caught in the crossfire. We know from cannabis that prohibitive regulations send demand into the illicit market. There, in there, instead of money going back into government pockets and on harm reduction measures, it goes straight into the illicit market, fueling further violence and illicit activities. Legalised Cannabis Victoria believes in harm reduction and the need for true transparency and integrity in government. We will support this motion and wherever we can, we will support documents motions. It is especially important to us that we lend our support in this case. We have witnessed firsthand a failure from governments to respond to this report in a timely manner and to be transparent with its recommendations. Let this report into the public domain and let us get on with the response.